right now. So here we go. Let's play it and see what happens. In the upper left of this map, and I believe this map is Echelon Flats, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> but I believe it is. Uh, we have our Teal Protoss Hollow. Bottom right, we have a Bluezer Commando. These, these two players were gracious enough to give a give me a replay they wanted casted, and we're going to do it right now. Do not know the legs of these two players. Let's look at some Mineral Line APMs here for a second. Oh man, okay, so we're doing a, uh, the Protoss is doing a 200 plus APM, while the Zerg is doing 200 down in the lower right here. Look at some POVs of the two players a while. Are we going to have a gateway? We're not going to have a uh, expansion from the uh, Protoss first against the Zerg player, interestingly enough, as you saw right there. And the Zerg is not going in any early pool or anything. He's already up to 13 supply with no pool just yet. As we see his point of view. Okay. So we'll find out when the uh, pool goes down for the uh, Zerg player. Protoss, meanwhile, is uh, content just to put a gateway down at the top of the ramp. Going to do a little bit of a wall off, or maybe a little, you know, just put something down at the top of the ramp here. Uh, and that's all I thought. That's all he's going to do. Uh, the probe does get inside the main base of the Zerg player. Just to see that there was no pool put down, but also to see that there was a natural put down, which he's going to scout right now. And around a natural hatcher he goes. Meanwhile, this Overlord is on his way over to the Protoss base. There was no drone scout uh, for the Zerg player. So if you look the at his... Uh, is under attack. Ah, the Hive Cluster is under attack. So uh, there you go. So uh, Overlord is going to get there eventually. There was no drone scout at all. And uh, w once he gets here, he's going to not see a natural down uh, here. What he's going to see is that there's a wall up at the, top, at the top of the ramp. So no early expansion for the Protoss, unless he puts a expansion down here uh, in a little bit. We'll see if he saves the minerals to put an expansion down after that gateway. Uh, he already has a cyber cybernetics core down. Has his gas. All that good stuff. The pool is up for the Zerg player. He already had his gas. He has his gas. Uh, he's not going to have 100 minerals of research speed just yet. Well, so uh, as soon as he has 100, we expect speed. At least he would think. Uh, drones are mining at the natural, so all good and dandy for the Zerg player right now. Zealot decides to attack the uh, unbillable rocks at the bottom of the ramp near his base. Get some music going in the background. By Overlord here at the uh, third base, at his third base. In the, on this map, as you can see, the bases are situated so that at, on the uh, if you're on, on the bottom right, the bases go almost due north. So you have this base here, this base here, and this in your third base here, just straight in the line, north of each other. And then the opposite goes for your uh, upper left bases. You have uh, your bases going due south. So you're just just three bases straight in the line. This overload's gonna die. I believe. Yep, Overlord dies. No base for the Protoss. Protoss decides to go one base. Is it going to be a 4-gate? It is going to be a 4-gate. Four 4-gate four for the Protoss here. He gets a second gas. He puts down a robotics facility, so it's a... F um, yeah, it's it's four four gates and a robo for the Protoss. He does have a second gas. He's only mining two probes. Is he mining two? Oh, okay, he's mining five probes. Oh, no, there he goes. He's going six probes on gas right now. He just transferred all his probes over to gas. Five gates and a robo off one base for our Protoss player here, guys. Meanwhile, the at the natural, he's getting a, another gas. He's, he's going to have two gas. Uh, one at the main and one at the natural for the Zerg player. He's going to the lair, and he's getting a Roachworn. So Roachworn goes down for the uh, Zerg player. 
And that's what you see here. The uh, layer goes down. Uh, you know, we can expect some uh, evolution chambers, perhaps, uh, for the Zerg player here in the, near in the near future. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Meanwhile, uh, four... Four <laughs> stalkers are on their way over to the base. Queen is attacking the unbuildable rocks. Here comes a, a four stalkers into the natural of the uh, Zerg player. A spine crawler is here. Turn your queen around. There you go. Turn your queen around. Brilliant. The sp uh, spine crawler does go down. There's a second queen to help out with the fight. One of the stalkers does die. Uh, is the uh, here comes the observer right now. So and where is the where is the uh, toilet? Council, there it is. Okay, Twilight Council does go down. He will be able to research uh, Blink here in a little bit, also. But uh, the Observer is coming. He doesn't have Blink, so the Observer is not going to be as of much help, except for uh, some vision on high ground and stuff like that. Uh, but until Blink gets done, that Observer will be uh, much more valuable to the Protoss. Notice the production tab. Nothing is going on. I mean, these two players are uh, really bent or really concentrating on their, uh, you know, just what's what's going on across the map right now, and not concentrating on production at all. Uh, they're just busy on, you know, seeing what the other person is up to. Ten drones here for the Zerg, so not not scared. He made a whole lot of Zerglings right here, as you can see. He, there's 25 Zerglings out on the map, at least in this group right here. Four Zealots and four Stalkers waiting for these Zerglings, and here they come up the ramp. The Zealots are trying to get in front, which they do. The Stalkers have to stay in the back, and uh, there you go. Scare the Zerglings off. And now I think the Protoss can expand if he wanted to. He's doing a good job, job of keeping his minerals low. He uh, warps in another round of Zealots. And that's good because there's a lot of Zerglings on the map here. The Zerglings are going to try to attack these uh, uh, rocks. Which makes kind of a you know, kind of the second entrance into the natural area on this map. This map reminds me of, um, what's that? Actually, I'm, I'm gonna uh, hold off on what it reminds me of because uh, <laughs> I'm not exactly sure right now. But there's another map, what, what is it? Is it oh Ohana that has the rocks into the uh, third base or the natural or something like that that you can come back to? I, th I believe it is, but that, this is the kind of uh, stuff that it reminds me of. Uh, look at this, a third base going down for the Zerg player. Notice he does not go to the north base where his overlord was. He went over to the west and decided to take this base. Interestingly enough, he, gets, he does have one evolution chamber down in his main base. And uh, I don't think he has anything else. Remember, he's on lair. He has a roach worn down. Nothing else going on. He's packing his overlords here tightly into a group. Protoss has a large army out. Uh, the... But the uh, supplies is 74 to 57 right now. Uh, if you look at the uh, worker supply, 50 to 24. The Protoss really cut down on the uh, probes when he was making his army. He thought maybe he could build a, a big enough army to uh, really scare the Zerg. He did. He got a lot of Zerg, Zergling production out of the Zerg. But, man, this uh, worker count uh, looking pretty scary here for the Zerg player. No workers killed so far. Does put down his Nexus in his natural, the uh, Protoss does. This hatchery is going to get finished. He's going to be on three bases in just a short while. Infestation pit goes down and another evolution chamber. So two evolution chambers and an infestation pit along with the lair. So we'll see what kind of play he goes here. Remember, his speed has not been researched yet. I don't know if he forgot about it or what, but speed is not researched yet. Roaches now come out. Protoss uh, now has Immortals with his army. Remember, he did have that robotics facility with those four gates. He does have an Observer, too. The Observer is right here, just checking everything out, what's going on inside the Zerg base. Uh, in the Protoss base, another there's, there's four gates there. There's a fifth, five and six there, so there's six gateways. With a robotics facility, and a Twilight Council, and a forge. So, uh... Upgrades coming for the Protoss. Notice the upgrades here for the Zerg player. Plus two attacks for the Zerg player. And plus one uh, armor hive going down. Morphing in, as you can see. Looks kind of weird with... Uh, I, I'm, I'm on medium graphics right now. Looks kind of weird on, on medium. The hive does. Uh, here we go. Uh, the Protoss army is moving out. And uh, we're going to see what kind of... Uh, 
advancement he does here on the Zerg. Two spine crawlers are down at the third base of the Zerg player. Uh, curious that he just didn't go ahead and take a, fi a fourth base. But no, he's content on three bases right now. He is. Look, look at the minerals he's banking, guys. 2,000 minerals this Zerg player is uh, banking. I'm surprised he didn't just go ahead and take a fourth base and maybe even a fifth base or try to take a ninja fifth base somewhere. Uh, the Protoss does come out on creep. Uh, the Zerg knows he's here. So uh, we're going to see a little battle going on here in just a second. Infestors, three infestors are here. A queen is here. We have some spine crawlers at the, at the top of the ramp. Does the Protoss want to push in here? Guardian shield goes down. Infested Terrans are put down. So no fungal. He decides to go no fungal on this army. Instead, he puts down Infested Terrans. So a little dance here between the two players. Just going back and forth, back and forth. Uh, oh, the Protoss uh, getting a little scary there with his positioning at the bottom of that ramp. With his uh, sentries, he does have uh, force fields. Um, so we'll see what happens here. He's just going to park himself right on this uh, creep. He doesn't mind at all that he's on this creep. Remember, those, did the Zerg uh, research speed? No, he does not. He does not have speed on it for his Zerglings at all. Um, so, yeah. Uh, curious. Curious play here. No speed for the Roaches, or not even uh, uh, Tunneling Claws researched either. No burrow researched, so Zerg needs to get his upgrades going here. Um, curious play here from the Zerg player for sure. Uh, I'm going to get uh, plus three attacks here for the Zerg player and level two carapace for the Zerg. Meanwhile, the Protoss is on 1-1 one, one at the moment. Protoss decides to come up the ramp. There are no force fields thrown down to, to stop these roaches from attacking the sentries. And the sentries are right in front of this army. Did an Infestor just go down? I think so. There's only two Infestors here. These Roaches are trying to do damage as fast as they can. There are some Force Fields to keep out some of these Roaches. Protoss did some good damage there. If you look at the units killed. 53 to 31. Zero workers killed. Oh, one worker was killed by the uh, Zerg player. Alright, Protoss now just sitting here. Right outside the creep area of this uh, Zerg player. Meanwhile, the Roach, or, I'm sorry, the Roach, the Zerg army has to regroup. Remember the uh, worker count, 50 to 34, so there is probably a bigger army for the Protoss on the map than there is for the Zerg player. Uh, the Zerg is switching s strictly to uh, Roaches and Infestors, as you can see by that composition. He needs to put out an another base down. He's uh, banking 4,000 minerals. So a, a base should go here, a base should go here, and a base probably should go the whole way over here. And down here. It's <laughs> just for good measure. He, he should have half the map. He should have half the map uh, covered in creep by now. In fact, the creep should probably be at the front door of the Protoss. The Protoss is not doing anything to expand. He doesn't even have... He only has 10 workers at his at natural and worked 18 minutes into this game. That's the kind of game we're having right now is that these two... Uh, the Protoss, which is too uh, focused on attacking the Zerg player, he's forgetting to uh, uh, macro anything. Uh, so he's going to start banking minerals too. The Zerg player needs to put down bases in a hurry uh, because he's going to be he's banking 5,000 minerals uh, as we speak. He has the hive down. Is he going to tech up to anything else? Oh, okay, well, there we go. Uh, Ultralisk Cavern did go down. Speed finally uh, researched now at 19 minutes into this game. Uh, charge being researched for the Protoss. And look at this, a Nidus Network is going down as well. So here's a Nidus Network. He does have an Overlord out here in space or in the middle of nowhere. Uh, we're like in the middle of these uh, the desert, I guess, <laughs> area. So he's, he he will be able to float this somewhere and put down a Nidus network. In fact, look at this spot right there for a Nidus network for the Zerg player with the army way out of position for the Protoss. Protoss, 24 uh, workers are now going to be start, starting to mine at this uh, natural, and he can put up a lot more bases now. He has nine, He's a floating 1,000 minerals. He can be putting a third down. He can be putting a fourth down. There's a third base for the Protoss. Zerg player... Uh, where are your bases, Zerg? You have 5,000 minerals. Let's start spreading creep. Let's do all the stuff you need to do as a Zerg player to win. Uh, you're just concentrating too much on getting Ultralis out right now. Nidus Network filling up with Zerg with uh, Zerglings. And uh, I think he has a spot picked out for this. Maybe. Hopefully. We'll see. 
<laughs> we'll see where he decides to put this Nidus network down <laughs> in this uh, kind of a weird game here going on between Commando and Hollow. Your supplies are 148 to 114. Where is this overseer going to go? We're going to find out in a little bit. These two armies are just gathering <laughs> themselves at each other's bases. We're 21 minutes into this game and a, a nice network is about to go down somewhere. So we'll find out. Uh, this is just a random replay that I'm casting. And uh, yeah, so that's what's going on. Three bases for Zerg, two, uh, three bases for Protoss. That's where we're at, guys. 21 minutes into this game. If you're looking at this game and going, hmm, what's going on here? 21 minutes, we're on 3-3, three, three, or 3 base to 3 base. <laughs> yeah. uh, I, I won't, I won't uh, blame you if you think uh, something's going on here, like shenanigans happen or something like that. But, okay, the Overseer's going to fly right over this base and see what's going on. He does not put a uh, Nidus network down anywhere. If Instead, he corrupts or puts down uh, Contaminate. That's right, Contaminate. He forgets all about his Nidus network and puts down Contaminate. Nidus, Nidus. We're just going to chant Nidus to see where he puts this down. Remember, he loaded his Nidus network full of Zerglings. <laughs> That's in there. It's full of Zerglings is waiting to come out somewhere. So, Overseer, Nidus. Overseer, Nidus. Meanwhile, Protoss army is right here in the middle, or kind of in the middle of the map. Uh, the creep spread went all the way up to this point. Here we go. Finally, he's going to uh, activate a, a creep tumor and spread some more creep. Three base Zerg. He's mined out of his main. He's on two base now. He's mining out of two bases. He has 28 uh, drones at this base and 14 drones at this base. Another high, two more uh, Ultralis comes out of this uh, base. Is the Zerg player ready to move out? He has 190 supply to 147. This Overseer does not know if he wants to put down his Nidus network here yet. He has Zerglings in the Nidus network. I think he's going to go for a double pronged attack is what he's going to do. He's going to try to attack on the front and then s s uh, secretly put down a Nidus network. Photon cannons going the whole way around the main base. I don't know about you guys, but I don't think I saw any uh, air units except for overlords and overseers for the uh, Z Zerg, but better safe than sorry for the Protoss. And down goes the Nidus network. It is remember it is full of zerglings. It's gonna go. Oh, zealots are here to attack the uh, Nidus network, and it's killed instantly. And while that was happening, the uh, Zerg army did move. Ultralis roaches, infestors here with this army. Colossus, Stalkers, Sentries, and Zealots for the Protoss army. Fighting at the bottom of the bay, at, at the ramp, it's into the natural, the Protoss. That's where the fight is going on. 163 supply to 91, and the Protoss army is dwindling fast. 80 supply now for the Protoss. Zerg player in the natural, the Protoss. 69, 66 supply, 60 supply now for the Protoss. Into the 50s. And uh, I believe this game is over. The Zerg has overwhelmed the Protoss player with his Ultralis Roach Infester play. These Stalkers are trying their hardest to kite a Ultralisk. And then Ultralisk goes down there. That, that Protoss... Uh, Nexus goes down. <laughs> There's action going all, all over the place here. These Roaches are attacking a pylon. They're going to come in here and attack this... Uh, uh, Nexus and the third base of the Protoss. Meanwhile, this, these two Ultralis are doing much damage to the top of this ramp. Nidus Network goes down again. These Zealots attack the Nidus Network, and it goes down yet again. This, that's the second Nidus Network that goes down. Zerglings now streaming northbound. This uh, third base is destroyed. The, neck, uh, the Protoss also had a fourth base down here, which uh, does not have any probes mining from it. These Zerglings are just scouting around to see if there's any other bases that he missed. Notice the production tab, guys. Nothing going on whatsoever right now. These two are just 
He's concentrating hard on what to do next. Hollow <laughs> doesn't have anything on the map. He has 29. Look at his army supply. 7. I'm sorry, 26 army to uh, 99 for the uh, Zerg. These Zealots are trying their hardest to uh, do damage to these Roaches. And it's one Ultralis that it's in its main base. Yep, so many Roaches. There were a lot of other things too, man. There were some Zerglings on the map. There were some Ultralis on the map. And Commando takes the victory in this Zerg versus Protoss.